event of the evening, five rounds for the welterweight championship of the world and a rematch of one of the most talked about fights in all of combat sports last year. But this time, the championship belt is on the line. And this time, both men are promising to deliver another viral victory. This bout sanctioned by the Illinois State Athletic Commission. And at the bell, your referee is Chris Wagner. From Chi-Town to Cape Town, glory kickboxing fans are watching around the world. It's time for glory! Let's meet the challenger. He is a world tournament champion, also contender tournament champion. His professional record, 46 wins with 11 losses. 32 of those wins have come by way of knockout. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 169 pounds, 76.7 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Armenia, ladies and gentlemen, here is Harut Grigorian. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner, a European and world max champion, making his first defense of the glory belt. His professional record, 67 wins, 22 losses, three bouts scored even, and 38 career knockouts. He stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 168 and one half pounds, 76.5 kilos. He's here in Chicago, fighting out of the Netherlands, and is the reigning and defending glory welterweight champion of the world. He is Mertel, the Predator, Grunhard. Once again, your referee in charge of this championship bout is Chris Wagner. Virgil. Virgil. Right here, right here, bring it in. Gentlemen, this is for the welterweight championship of the world. I want a nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Man, that's how I call you out. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch them up. Don't turn your Judge. back on your opponent. Judge. Don't turn away from Judge. the television set. Judge. Merchel Judge. Grunhardt defending his world title for the first time against Harut Gregorian. Here we go. It's our main event on this epic Glory 50 broadcast. Merchel Grunhardt listed as a minus 485 favorite. That is a big, big number. That's disrespectful to Harut Gregorian and his abilities. Yeah, and he's just got a lot of power. He's going to want to put you against the ropes and unload. He's good at mixing body punches with head punches. But what gave him problems last time was that flying knee from Myrtle. And that's one of Myrtle's best weapons. He has this switch left knee that he throws to the head. What a big roundhouse right hand from Haru Gregorian. Gets nothing but air. He said he would like to decapitate Grunhart with a punch tonight if it was possible. I'm sure he's going to stay calm and relaxed. He can't get too aggressive and think about that knockout. He's got five rounds. We haven't seen him go five rounds yet. The key is, can he sustain that hard pace that he brings? And can he control his emotions? He's staying a little calmer than usual. Usually we see him a little bit more aggressive, so he's probably taking his time in the first few rounds before he opens up. Nice left hand from Runehart as he backpedaled. There's a knee and a right hand, and Harut backed up against the ropes. That's Myrtle's knee. That's really going to give people problems. And what Harut's going to have to do, he's going to have to angle off. He can't stay straight. As soon as he anticipates the knee, he's got to angle out, pivot out. Don't stay center. Oh, that right hand connected, and Grunhardt is dead. That is a knockdown. The champ is down here in round one. That's the power we all knew Harut had in his hands. Seven. He just needs to land it. Let's Walk see. To me. Well, well, he is wobbly Walk to right me. now. Are you okay? The champ may not. Are you Let's okay? see if he continue. Come right here. And look at the roots. Turn around. Hey. Haru wants Fight. him. Haru's Fight. ready to go. Grunhardt's in survival mode right now. We may have a new champ in the making. Haru Gregorian hitting the champ. Oh. Oh. Why is it the referee oh. has stopped oh. it? Are you kidding me? A world title fight. 
should never be stopped like that. But it's Haruk Gregorian, who's the new welterweight champion of the world. He has done it. What beautiful power from Haruk Gregorian. He was just waiting for that moment. He was a little bit more patient than usual. But when he lands it, it's over. He was a four, minus 485 favorite was Myrtle Grunhardt, the biggest underdog on the card tonight. Haruk Gregorian is the new welterweight champion of the world. And Haruk's not a guy with a lot of motion, but you can see it in his eyes. There's a lot of relief off of him. He didn't decapitate Grunhardt like he wanted to, but he did dethrone him. And you got to think, these, this is the third fight. Harut's been knocked out twice from Myrtle. So for him to get this knockout, it's got to feel amazing. I'm still shocked that the referee decided to stop it when he did. Chris Wagner, one of the best referees in the world. What is he thinking there, Joe? Yeah, I think... He he was going to stop it. I thought he was going to call a standing A count, but then he went right back and just called the fight off. But there's Haru ripping the body, and then he came upstairs with his power punches. Nice work by our cameraman there to get the shot. You see that right hook to the body, which shells up Myrtle. Then it's a left hook back right to the body. And let's see the one that does the damage. There it is. It's that right hand coming over, coming down. Follows with the left hook, down goes Myrtle. You saw the anticipation in Rook Gregorian once he got sent to the neutral corner. He just came out sprinting. He wanted to jump on Myrtle and finish this fight as fast as possible. You see Nick Hemmers running in with such great emotion for his fighter. Nick Hemmer is one of the great trainers in the world today. Just took another Gregorian, Marat Gregorian, over to Asia to win a huge tournament. And now he has the welterweight champion of the world in his gym. Yeah, that's a huge accomplishment for Hemmer's gym. And just amazing performance from Haruk Gregorian. We'll step aside one final time. And when we return, we'll hear from the new champion from Armenia, Haruk Gregorian. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. Our referee, Chris Wagner, steps in and waves off this contest with an official time of two minutes and six seconds of that very first round, declaring your winner by technical knockout. And new glory welterweight champion of the world, Harut Gregorian. Here to present the belt, our managing director of sport, Cor Hemmers, and our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Marshall Zelaznik. Haru, congratulations. That was epic. First and foremost, describe your emotions as you hear and new. Let me tell you tell what you're going to win that you're going to win. Thank you, Haruna. He's very happy that he won the belt and he's uh, going to try to maintain it, of course, and everybody's welcome. Now, after what happened to you guys last time y'all fought, was this almost like revenge for you? Is it a uh, payback time? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm going to thank you for Last year was not a lot Maybe you have a Last time didn't happen uh, as everybody planned, he says. He says, and this uh, definitely was payback time. Well, congratulations, Chicago. Give it up one more time for your new champ. Oh! Myrtle. Hi. What surprised you tonight in Harut? Um, nothing. He was the sharpest one. Uh, he took his chance and he got me. So, uh, as you know, I just uh, take my, my, my loss as a man, no complaining. I would like to fight again for the world title again to show my fans and everybody, you know, that I'm still the champ. But by this one, I congrats Harut Gigorian for winning on KO. Uh, congratulations, Harut. Thank you, Myrtle. You're welcome.